I'm kind of having to do this in pieces uh, whenever I have a few minutes to sit and talk and then I just kind of edit it together so it's not perfect but it's the best that I can do and like my story that I wrote it was not perfect About the way that I've told my story has been a perfect science um, because I didn't intend on writing a story I didn't become a truck driver to write a story about it I came to be a truck driver because I wanted to drive a truck but I guess they just seriously underestimated this dumb trucker is what basically what happened um, Every step of the way through CDL school with the trainer, um, you know, at the end of the thing, they're like, write a survey about how we did. See, and I'm like the kind of person that I see a lot of stuff wrong every day. But if I complained about every single thing that I saw wrong every day, I'd be complaining all day long. And I just don't want to live my life that way. So, I, I usually don't say anything about stuff. Um, I like having a, a peaceful life, um, you know, and I'm pretty shock proof, you know. If somebody pulled their pants down, took a crap right in the middle of the street, I don't flinch. I just, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff in my life and just, it's pretty hard to shock me. Um, but, you know, when we went to CDL school and it was such a joke, and they were like, fill out a survey at the end. I was like, really? <laughs> you betcha. I'm going to fill one out. And my friend Anthony did too. And we walked back to the train station to um, take, we were in South Florida. And I know what was on his and he knows what was on mine. So, you know, for them to try to even come back later and say anything, they already knew. They already knew before we ever let, went to our training carriers that we didn't learn anything from them and we felt totally taken advantage of. No one ever called us and said, hey, I saw your, your survey and it says that you, you did, oh, let us, you know, whatever. They don't do anything. They don't care. Okay? They don't care. You can look on the ripoff report and this company's notorious. So the question becomes... If the carriers know that these particular schools continue to turn out students that don't know anything, why do they send their recruiters there to recruit from those schools? Okay? That's not my problem. That's the ATA's problem. That's the federal government's problem because they're giving these people the workforce vouchers, compliments of the taxpayers, and they're these carriers are taking advantage of this government money to train students. This is a lot of money changing hands and you have this 125% turnover rate. So what are they producing? Sounds to me like they're making a lot of money off of the government to turn out very little at all. Um, so the next part of that was the training. No, I was not, um, I was not, um, intending on writing a story about what happened to me. It's just that it got so gross and it got so out of control and when they wrote those emails to Alan and Donna and they said would you write it to help other people I said yeah and when women in trucking put so much effort into covering up and discrediting my story I was like what is wrong with these people why are they trying so hard to cover up one person's story well because they're doing a lot of improper things. And I'm going to get into that more later. Because there's some really large lawsuits right now. And this is very dangerous. Um, when I wrote my original story, a lot of it is misspelled. I want to show you. 
these are the two PDAs that I have. I still use this one. It's old. It's not even like but I, I can send pictures and emails and do Twitter and stuff so fast on it that I haven't changed it just because I the I have the ability to use it so quick. Um, this is the one that I wrote the majority of my story on. If you can see that there's a little black um, worn out spot on it. Now if you can imagine, I wrote almost all of that story and a lot of the stuff on my blogs most of the stuff that I do on Twitter from this. So, I mean, it's amazing. So, you know, a lot of it's not spelled right, you know, and you get these people and they're like, oh, well, you know, she didn't, say, well, fuck you, you know, because you're not doing anything to help the party. I'm laying in my bed at night writing one button at a time this whole story to help other people. What the fuck are you doing? So, you know, when I hear this, oh, it's so sensational. My story's not sensational. It's the truth. And there's a lot of people that have a much more sensational story than I have. But they didn't have the ability to write it. And they didn't have the ability to communicate to the outside world. And I do. And I know how to do it very well and very effectively. And not waste my time talking to people who are going to do absolutely nothing. So that's the big difference. I didn't have the best credit when I got into trucking. I know a lot of you have prepaid phones and you don't have, you know, any ability to um, do a whole bunch. Um, I, my credit was shot to pieces. Um, and I had a prepaid phone when I entered trucking. I was broke. I didn't even have a coat. Okay, I had a series of things that happened in my life that just totally destroyed everything I ever had. And um, I had this prepaid phone, but right after I tested out, one of the other students said, Hey, I went to Sprint, and they... Um, they let me get a phone for a $50 deposit or a two, he said $200 deposit. I was like, okay, I'm going to do that because the prepaid phone was way too expensive. So I went to Sprint. I saved up the $200. I was going to just get their free phone that they have. And when I got there, they said, no, you could just pay a $50 deposit. And I did. So the money that I had left over, I was able up, I was able to get a $500 phone for the other 150 I have and that is how I got this phone which has is instrumental in what I have done on Twitter social media documenting my story it has a voice memo it has a video camera it has pictures it has email I can attach stuff I can get on the internet it has television so, you know, when you look at it, you might go, well, that's an old one. It's not even like an iPhone or it's not even like a, um, you know, the, the Evo or the Android or anything. It doesn't matter. It worked for me. It has a touch screen. It has cut and paste. So I, I was able to do a lot with this phone. I documented. I wrote my statements on this phone and emailed them in attachments. They're time dated and stamped because of it so when people said oh did you um you know because you know, they never answer the phone they don't answer the phone but they all have an email so i email i called i put it on the qualcomm but i emailed it not to one person to several people and i knew one thing about trucking right away these people do not communicate with each other in different departments. So when one person would say, I didn't get your email, I'd say, really? Because so-and-so got my email, and it was routed to you also. And I have the copy. So they couldn't say they didn't get the email, because I had all the copies, over 88 of them. Now, I recently had somebody, and this is also good, let me tell you, I've had a couple people crash into my truck, um, one time I had a paint a hazmat load. Well, it wasn't has it wasn't hazmat. It was paint, but it came from a hazmat facility. Anyway, the paint started leaking out of the bottom of the trailer, 
and they were the first thing out of their mouth is did you hit a bump no I didn't hit a bump it's pouring out white paint is pouring out of the truck of the trailer I had just stopped to go to the bathroom that could go on my record I could get in trouble for that I couldn't move the truck any further because that paint, white paint splash on other people's cars so I had to stay in this rest area for um, the whole night I had only stopped there for t a, a drink at the vending machine it turned out they didn't even have drinks I had no food anything I took pictures of the paint I took pictures when the hazmat crew came as soon as they broke the seal I took my own pictures of how it was loaded and I got the guys so I covered myself so they couldn't say oh well she must have hit a bump or blah 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 blah. I went in there with the camera right when he went in there with the camera and he told me the way that this was loaded was wrong they have floating loads on the top they put five gallon cans of paint on top of solid stuff with no brace so as soon as you you know drive with it it just falls over and busts apart and it's coming out of the bottom of the trailer so cover your ass get a smartphone even if you have to get a prepaid one I've seen that they have blackberries that are prepaid now um, do what you have this is that that's your right right arm weather channel I can check the weather I can you know do all kinds of stuff just from my phone recording people when they're trying to get you to do stuff that you're not supposed to be doing I've heard of students um, taking pictures of their trainers texting down the road I uh, recently got had some students that got a hold of me that recorded their trainer they were a married couple and the um, trainer was telling them to do illegal stuff with their logs um, some of the other things that went on this is the backup before you didn't have a chance to have the backup of your story because they always say they got you covered and they don't have you covered so those um, those surveys that I filled out or those evaluations that I filled out after CDL school and after my training um, I kept copies they don't tell you to keep copies but I did I kept copies because the things that I saw were serious and I didn't want to be responsible for instance with my trainer with the amount of pills she was taking if she ever killed a family and I didn't tell somebody about it unfortunately um, it took a lot more than that evaluation to get people to understand I'm serious so um, anyway I'm gonna go on now with a couple things and forgive me for having to splice all this together but this is the way that I have to do things right now